nobody who can make a solid argument that we're not going to win. District 1 is going to take the dub. Uh, who put this map together? I'm going to tell you, as a representative of District 3, this ain't a fair fight. Because first thing we're going to do is we're going to put Florida Man on the front lines. And uh, they ain't no telling what he's going to do. He could take all y'all out by himself. Or he could show up naked and rob all your Burger Kings. If that don't work, here comes the trifecta. That's Georgia, Alabama, Mississippi. And I'm going to tell you, if these Hunger Games disrupt the college football season in any way, trifecta's going to be really mad. Next comes Tennessee. And I tell you what, when they come crawling up out of the Smoky Mountains all jacked up on moonshine and Mountain Dew, it ain't going to be pretty. Next up is Texas, and you do not want to mess with Texas. That's their whole slogan, don't mess with Texas. I mean, that's the only state that can get away with something like that. I mean, you don't, you don't hear people say, don't mess with Utah, because you can mess with Utah. Lord, I didn't even mention the secret weapon. That's Louisiana, because if we have to interrupt them from cooking gumbo, they're going to come whoop your tail, and you're not going to understand a word they're saying when they do. I didn't have enough time to talk about all the other states that make uh, Zone 3 an unstoppable force, so let's go ahead and do that now. Yes, there is Arkansas, but we're going to need Arkansas to stay put because that's where Walmart headquarters is. And I'm going to tell you, if Walmart headquarters goes down, all of Zone 3 is going to go down. North Carolina's also got to stay put because we need them to ramp up production of the four basic elements that make up the bottom of the Southern Food Pyramid. Because that's Bojangles, Fried Chicken, Cookout, Cheer Wine, and Krispy Kreme. Completely left out South Carolina, which, going to be honest with you, is a state almost as crazy as Florida is. I mean, you got one half of the state right now that's pretty upset about Clemson falling short in the playoffs. The other half is a bunch of South Carolina Gamecock fans, and they're pretty angry all the time. And for the life of me, I can't remember what it is that Kentucky is bringing to the table. Oh, yeah, bourbon. Now, Oklahoma's great because all we got to do is tell them that Zone 1 said that Texas was better than y'all, and that's enough to get them fired up.